Hi, my name's Adele Carnera. I'm currently the Chair of the Essex Apprenticeship Ambassador Network. It's a role I've held for the last few years. I work with a group of about 30 employers to engage and support each other in adopting apprenticeships across the region. We work together sharing ideas and experience and understanding and interpreting funding and apprenticeship policy. As an employer, my personal apprenticeship journey started over a decade ago when I was Head of Resource Management for a large employer in Essex. We had identified a skill shortage and couldn't find the resource locally to recruit into. So with the help of the ESFA, we found a framework that actually directly matched the job we were trying to recruit for. We hired an initial cohort of 12 apprenticeships that quickly grew to 40 and within five years we'd hired over 1,300. In my current employer, we hired our first apprentice just over two years ago and she's just completed her business admin apprenticeship this month throughout COVID and throughout lockdown, so it's been a great success. Really, the biggest obstacle for us was understanding the 20% off the job requirement. This is something that's been repeatedly explained to me and I still found difficult after a number of years. What's really helped is working with a provider that's able to match their requirements with the requirements of our business and fully integrate the apprentice and the learning requirement into the day-to-day -day needs of our business. Without that kind of hard work at the beginning and really getting into the detail, I think it would have been a lot more difficult. Honestly, it was a lot more difficult than I first thought. There was a lot to think about, lots of information to understand, not just externally, but also within my organisation and how it worked. Um, I think the support of the ESFA and the AAN network when I joined it as a member was really invaluable and really helped me pick through just the sheer volume of things that we needed to understand. I think the biggest challenge for me in all of my roles as an apprenticeship lead have been finding a provider that works with us and understands my business needs as well as the needs of, of them and their regulatory requirements. I think putting the time in at the beginning to find a provider that really takes the time to understand your business needs is critical to success. I've worked with some providers over the years that forget actually that an apprentice has got a job to do as well. Um, the Institute of Apprenticeships website has been a, a real support in looking at comments and feedback from employers that have used providers before and I'd thoroughly recommend that everyone uses that for feedback um, and reviews on providers before they progress. For me the biggest successes have been watching the apprentices that have come into their first job grow not only as employees but also as individuals. One of the biggest challenges as an employer when you hire apprentices at the beginning of their career is them appreciating the environment they work in and behaviours that are appropriate for a place of work. And I found that apprentices, with the additional support of the provider, really excel at understanding and appreciating their environment. The devil's in the detail. Make sure you understand as much about the job that the apprentice is going to fill as possible, as much about the standard you're proposing as possible, and how they match on a day-to-day -day basis and most importantly, how your training provider is going to support you and your apprentice on the journey. When talking to providers and choosing providers, it's important to be as honest as possible and make sure they understand your business needs and that their approach can fit in with your day-to-day -day business activities. So our future plans for apprenticeships are to grow our HR consultancy by using the Level 5 HR, um, which includes the CIPD professional accreditation. This will help us to provide a more robust and recognised service to our HR clients.